Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the 2021 Virtual Master's Graduation Ceremony. I'm George Daly, Dean of Harvard Medical School. Thank you to everyone who orchestrated this event, an impressive enough undertaking in an ordinary year and a singular achievement during these challenging times. Thank you and welcome to our keynote speaker, Dan Baruch, Director of the Center for Virology and Vaccine Research at the Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center and the William Bosworth Castle Professor of Medicine at Harvard Medical School. Very early in the COVID-19 outbreak, Dr. Baruch pivoted from his work on HIV to confront the novel coronavirus SARS-CoV-2. His work has been a key part of the efforts that led to the development and deployment of Johnson & Johnson's single-shot vaccine against the virus, a truly remarkable achievement. We're very much looking forward to hearing from Dr. Baruch today. Welcome to our faculty and staff, and especially to the families, friends, and loved ones of our graduating students. Although we can't be together in person on the Harvard campus, it's a pleasure to present our graduates and hear their personal stories as we share this happy occasion. Most of all, congratulations to you, our spring 2021 master's graduates. You've not only conquered the rigorous coursework for your degrees, You've concluded your studies amid a worldwide disruption the likes of which has not been seen in our lifetimes. Today, I'm told we celebrate more than 140 graduates across eight programs. The geographic, demographic, and interdisciplinary diversity of this year's graduates is remarkable. With students from nearly three dozen nations, from Brazil to New Guinea, from Malawi to Malaysia, the members of the master's class of 2021 hail from every continent save Antarctica. You have served and will continue to serve all over the world, furthering the mission of Harvard Medical School to alleviate suffering and improve health and well-being for all. Even more than in previous years, your graduation is a testament to your hard work, your creativity, and your perseverance. You and your loved ones should be proud of your accomplishments. We've all had to rapidly adapt to a new normal, and that has not been easy. Many of you have confronted unexpected healthcare burdens from the COVID-19 pandemic, both in your own lives and in your service in medical, scientific, policy, and related spheres. The current health crisis has struck every one of us so profoundly, and yet you persevered to complete your degrees. Your connections with one another, with your colleagues, and with those with whom you serve have only grown and strengthened during these trying days. Although the pandemic lends a bittersweet tinge to what should be unalloyed joy, I will say this to you. If you can get through this, you can get through anything. And if you, you have not only gotten through, you've done so with outstanding results seeking to improve our understanding and treatment of disease and wellness at every level, from the molecular to the global, addressing the acute, urgent needs of responding to novel diseases such as COVID-19, and seeking long-term systemic solutions to persistent, intractable inequities. The breadth and depth of the work you have produced in your short time as students at Harvard Medical School is inspiring. I know you will continue to do great things. Your work here has prepared you well to help find answers to some of the most challenging questions we face in medicine. From foundational questions about basic biomedical science to the crucial questions of how to deliver the best possible care to all who need it, how to treat our patients with the care they deserve, and how to train the next generation of leaders to carry on our work in years to come. I have faith that what you have learned here will prepare you to lead the way as we face an uncertain future. And you will do so not merely as members of the biomedical community, but as global citizens. Whether you're dedicated to academia or industry, the private or public sector, global health or community health, you have fulfilling careers ahead. I look forward to seeing where you go next and the ways in which you will make the world a better place. I ask all of you in attendance here today to join me in congratulating our master's graduates.
And now, I'd like to introduce our Dean for Graduate Education, Dr. Rosalind Siegel. Dean Daly, thank you for your wonderful message to the graduates. I am Rosalind Siegel, Harvard Medical School Dean for Graduate Education, and it is my great pleasure to welcome all of you to the ninth annual graduation ceremony for the master's programs at Harvard Medical School and the second online ceremony. Welcome Dr. Baruch, graduates, families, friends, faculty, program heads and managers, and distinguished guests. This is a very welcome day of celebration for us all. For our wonderful graduates, this is the culmination and celebration of one, two, or more years of creative and diligent work in advanced biomedical and health studies. Much of their work and studies have been carried out under the difficult circumstances of the pandemic. But these students have persevered and excelled in spite of the obstacles. For families and friends, this is a moment to recognize the achievements of their loved ones and to look forward to future careers. For the outstanding faculty and staff, this is a celebration of educating the next generation of leaders in biomedicine and health sciences and a recognition of your dedication and resilience. Congratulations to all of you. Today celebrates the graduates of eight master's programs, bioethics, biomedical informatics, clinical investigation, clinical service operations, global health delivery, healthcare quality and safety, immunology, and medical education. While these eight programs are each very distinct, they share the goal of working with and educating future leaders who will advance our ability to understand and treat diseases that afflict people and optimize the ways in which we care for diverse patients. The pandemic and our response to this crisis highlights why these goals are so critical. The graduates of each program are well prepared to deal with repercussions of the new coronavirus and with so many other pressing health concerns. Whether it is the immunologists deciphering the immune response to SARS-CoV-2, the biomedical informaticians who can rapidly identify the novel sequences in each of the new um, viral variants, the clinical investigators who can test new therapies, the leaders in clinical service operations who can rearrange clinical care to deal with this great crisis, and those in healthcare safety and quality who make sure to prevent hospital-based transmission. Those in bioethics ensure that we treat all patients fairly and equitably. Experts in global health delivery coordinate responses to the pandemic across the world, while those in medical education help us to adapt our teaching and pedagogy to this time of social distancing. I know that all of you, like our speaker, Dan Baruch, have worked hard through the past challenging year to move past this global crisis. So it is important for you to graduate and continue your efforts to make the world a better, safer, and a more equitable place. The need for experts in all these areas explains the rapid growth in our master's programs. Today, we are graduating 144 students from the eight programs. We have 123 students continuing in their programs, and we already have over 220 students who will be starting new programs in the fall. 
We are committed to our students and their training, and we look forward to developing a group of dedicated and involved alumni. We welcome you all as you join this expanding and inspiring group of leaders. Throughout this pandemic, I have been so impressed by the dedication and leadership of all the program heads and managers. This is a group that works together to share best practices in education and in biomedical sciences and is undaunted by any impediments in their path. You provide critical training, mentoring and support for all the students and you yourselves are fantastic role models. Thank you so much for all you do. I also want to take this opportunity to thank Dr. Johanna Gutlerner, the Associate Dean for Graduate Education. In so many ways, Johanna is the heart, soul, and brain of the HMS master's programs. She works tirelessly to advance the careers of all the students. This is an opportunity for us all to thank her. And I want to thank Kim Lincoln, the Director of Student Affairs, and Naima Abdullahi, who together work to make the master's programs work seamlessly. An important component of graduation ceremonies is always the keynote address. At HMS, we invite a distinguished biomedical investigator to address the graduates and inspire us all. This year, it is fitting that the keynote be delivered by an investigator who has been working tirelessly to develop and advance a vaccine for coronavirus. I have the distinct honor of introducing Dr. Daniel Baruch. Dr. Baruch graduated summa cum laude from Harvard College. He then did his PhD work as a Marshall Fellow at Oxford University before returning to Massachusetts to do medical school here at Harvard, followed by residency and fellowship at Mass General Hospital and Brigham and Women's Hospital. As an infectious disease specialist, a major goal of his research has been to develop vaccines for viral diseases. Starting in 2000, he began work aimed at developing a vaccine against HIV. While this effort has not yet been fully successful, the work that he had done provided a framework when he pivoted towards developing a vaccine against SARS-CoV-2. This work, done together with Johnson & Johnson, led to the one of the vaccines that are now enabling us to begin to see the end of this pandemic. His work on vaccines and on immunologic responses to viral infections have been recognized by election to the American Society for Clinical Investigation and the American Association of Physicians as well as the Drexel Prize in Immunology. Dr. Baruch, it is a special pleasure to introduce your keynote address for the Harvard Medical School Master's Program graduating class of 2021. Hello and welcome. My name is Dan Baruch. I'm the director of the Center for Virology and Vaccine Research at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center, as well as the William Bosworth Castle Professor of Medicine at Harvard Medical School. Congratulations to this year's 2021 Harvard Medical School Master's Program graduates in bioethics, bioinformatics, immunology, clinical investigation, medical education, clinical service organization, health care, quality and safety, as well as global health. Your achievements are remarkable and your futures are bright. I'd like to offer just two suggestions as you complete this exciting journey and start on the next adventure of your life. First, regardless of your chosen field, tackle hard problems. There are plenty of people who can handle straightforward issues that face our world today. 
And second, regardless of your chosen field, try to find ways to make the world a better place. With your training and experience and intelligence, you all have the remarkable ability to help solve the most pressing issues facing our society and world. As an example, I'd like to share some of our own experiences over the past 16 months with a COVID-19 pandemic and the development of vaccines. This story starts in December of 2019 with a new disease that emerged in Wuhan, China, a pneumonia of an unknown, unknown cause. In January of last year, the sequence of a novel coronavirus was identified, and the virus was eventually called SARS-CoV-2. Although we had no idea that it would lead to the worst global pandemic of our, of our lifetime, in fact, in a century, there were early warning signs that led us and many other groups around the world to start developing a vaccine for this new virus right away. In fact, the WHO estimates there are over 250 independent vaccine programs for COVID-19 throughout the world. So how were COVID-19 vaccines made so quickly? Some people say they were rushed. I say they were made very efficiently. But they were actually not made in a year. They were actually made over decades because the resulting COVID-19 vaccines actually represents scientific progress, decades of advances in vaccinology and virology and immunology, particularly in the development of new classes of vaccines called gene-based vaccines. These include messenger RNA vaccines, as well as vector vaccines. And these were in fact the first vaccines to cross the finish line in the United States. There have also been major advances in sequencing methods that allowed rapid identification of SARS-CoV-2 shortly after the outbreak began, as well as unprecedented collaboration and massive amounts of funding and resources poured into the development of COVID-19 vaccines. Clinical trials were large and allowed for rapid safety and efficacy evaluation. And very sadly, because they were conducted during the global surges, there were many transmission events that rapidly allowed the evaluation of these vaccines. So currently in the United States, we have three vaccines approved under emergency use authorization. The first two were the mRNA vaccines, and the third one, which I'll tell you a few more words about, is a viral vector-based vaccine. This third vaccine is a vaccine that we uh, had a scientific role in helping to develop, the J&J Ad26 COVID-19 vaccine, in which we utilize vaccine technology that our group developed not for coronaviruses, but rather for HIV over the last uh, 15 years. On January 10th of last year, the SARS-CoV-2 sequence was, was released by the Chinese researchers. We worked on the sequence over the weekend and developed candidate vaccine immunogens electronically. So when we got back to the lab on January 13th of last year, we were ready to order synthetic genes and the vaccine development process essentially begins. By the end of January, we uh, decided to collaborate with our industry partner for our HIV program, J&J. &J, and in February, we started to perform initial tests of vaccines on animals. By the end of March, manufacturing of clinical grade vaccine was initiated. And by the end of July, first in human clinical trials started. By the end of September, phase three efficacy trials were started and the results were announced at the end of January of 2021, leading to FDA approval for emergency use authorization at the end of February. And during this calendar year, J&J &J is committed to provide at least a billion doses of this vaccine to the world. This vaccine demonstrated high efficacy of 85% against severe COVID-19 in the three major geographic regions that were studied in the United States and Latin America and South Africa, including against the most worrisome of the viral variants, such as those that emerged in Brazil and South Africa. This vaccine then complements the two mRNA vaccines that have been rolled out in the United States since December. The J&J &J vaccine also has some unique advantages, including being a single shot vaccine with no sub-zero freezing cold chain. So together, these three vaccines are being rolled out in the United States and should facilitate the mass vaccination campaign in the United States as well as globally. And several other vaccines have already started rolling out globally. For the J&J &J vaccine, the vaccine rollout was paused for 10 days for 
very rare but severe cases of thrombosis. Uh, this pause was lifted after a detailed review and demonstration of uh, uh, very strong uh, uh, risk-benefit analyses, as well as treatment defined for these cases. And this shows the commitment to safety surveillance with all of these vaccines. The perspective on COVID-19 vaccine development is very bright and, in fact, offers a light at the end of the tunnel for the pandemic, both in the United States and hopefully for the world. Vaccine development for COVID-19 has proceeded faster than for any other pathogen in history. Safety and public trust are absolutely critical. The viral variants that have emerged will require further study. Vaccines may need to be updated and additional variants may emerge. But global vaccination is critical for the prevention of future variants and also for ending the pandemic. And we feel that multiple vaccines need to be implemented in parallel to accelerate the vaccine rollout in the U.S. and throughout the world. In fact, one of the most compelling reasons to accelerate the vaccine rollout is to help prevent the emergence of new viral variants that might threaten a resurgent viral pandemic. So I'm often asked the question, when will the pandemic end? And I cannot answer that any better than anyone else. But I do feel that it's a race between vaccination of the world and the emergence of variants that can undermine vaccine control. This is a global pandemic and requires a global solution. So as the United States reaches closer and closer to the majority of adults becoming vaccinated, we shouldn't forget the fact that there are still a large number of people in our country that need to be vaccinated and a huge number of people in the world who need to be vaccinated. And we can't be safe until everyone is safe because the virus surging anywhere in the world uh, leads to risks of variants uh, everywhere in the world. But when historians in the future look back on the pandemic, they will undoubtedly document many terrible things. But the shining light will be seen as the power of science and the compassion of medicine to help solve global health problems. And in particular, the development of treatments and vaccines and understanding of this disease, the basic virology and the basic immunology, public health tools that ultimately uh, will lead to the end of this pandemic. So you all are now well equipped to make your contributions to the world. If I can just reiterate my two suggestions that you may wish to consider as you venture forth into the next chapter of your lives and careers. First, I would suggest that you tackle hard problems because the world needs you for that. And second, try to find ways to make the world a better place because no one is as equipped as you are to accomplish that important task. I know you will all be successful. Congratulations and good luck. Thank you very much. It is now my pleasure to introduce to you our student speaker, Dr. Anika Singh. Anika completed her medical school training at University College Dublin. At the end of this ceremony, she will be a graduate of the Harvard Medical School Master of Medical Science in Clinical Investigation. While in the program, she has been the president of the Master's Student Council and she is also a research trainee at Brigham and Women's Hospital in Nephrology with a research focus on the important subject of blood pressure regulation in hemodialysis patients. She brings professionalism, poise, dedication, and fierce intellect to all of these tasks. Anika, it is a pleasure to introduce you. We look forward to your talk today and to seeing where your studies and training take you in the future. Hi everyone, my name is Anika Singh. Like you, I'm graduating today from a master's program at Harvard Medical School. Wow, <laughs> in my case, from the Master's of Medical Science and in Clinical Investigation. I also represent you in my role as president of the Master's Student Council. On all our behalf, I would like to thank Dean Daly, Dean Siegel, Associate Dean Gutlerner and Kim Lincoln for all the work that goes into making this possible and for inviting me to speak today. I know we would all like to thank our program directors, faculty and program admin, and my personal thanks to my mentor, Finian McCausland, 
and the MMSCI team, Katie Cassiopo, Claire O'Connor, and Melissa Campos Samora. What a year it has been. I think I can speak for all of us when I say that this year was certainly not what we expected. Whether it was through the sudden shift onto the online space, uncertainty about what the next day would bring in terms of public health guidelines, or what our lives would look like as we pictured this very moment. This year, we also experienced the Black Lives Matter movement, where we were reminded that in the words of another Harvard graduate, Amanda Gorman, that the norms and notions of what just is, isn't always justice. We watched this country go through a tumultuous election, as well as experience threats to our democracy. What we learned in this past year or so could not have been taught to many classes before us. Resilience, focus, teamwork, looking out for others, and most of all, flexibility. All of these attributes, in addition to our coursework, will help us forge our way through the ever-changing new normal that this year and future years will have in store for us. In preparation for this moment, where we move to the next phase in our careers as healthcare leaders, we have worked our way through the rigorous academic challenges presented to us through our coursework, pushed the boundaries in our specialties to ask novel questions, reflected on complex ethical issues, tackled large data sets, and found a way to add to the body of knowledge in the scientific community. Throughout this year, we've also seen the theories we discussed in the virtual classroom come to life with the rapid development of the COVID-19 pandemic. The complexity and for lack of a better word, unprecedented nature of these times not only opened our eyes to how quickly things can change, but also exemplified the need for every single person graduating today as experts in their respective fields. And with the guidance and mentorship of program directors, faculty, and research mentors at the cutting edge, we've been given the tools to aid in transforming the healthcare landscape using novel evidence-based techniques. These two years, I've learned about the importance of community. For me, I built a community in my research lab, the dialysis unit, and with my classmates. I learned that research is more than statistical significance. It's being there to smile and talk to patients and maybe being the reason they come in for treatment that day because they know you'll be there with another fun fact about Smokey Robinson, even though they know them all. I learned diligence and commitment from my classmates who attended lectures in the middle of the night in their local time. I learned fortitude from my classmates who stayed strong despite not being able to go home and see their families. I learned that we can build connections and friendships and share thoughts and experiences and laughter with the greatest minds in medicine, all through a computer screen or device. I learned that even through tough times, our potential is limitless. With that, I would like to thank all of our families and friends and pillars of support without whom we wouldn't be here today. Congratulations to the Harvard Medical School Master's Class of 2021. I can't wait for a time when we can celebrate together in person, but for now, we did it. At this time, we invite you to take a moment of silence to remember our graduates loved ones who have passed away this year. While they may no longer walk with us, their candle will forever burn bright in our hearts. On behalf of all of us at Harvard Medical School, I offer you and your family my deepest condolences. And we also offer our condolences to all those who have lost loved ones in this very difficult time. I would like now to turn to what is the happiest part of today's commencement. And now the program administrators of each program will read the names of the wonderful 2021 graduates. Master of Bioethics. Fatima Alamar.
Asma Al Zaidi. Hi everyone. I'd like to thank my family, program leadership, faculty, and my fellow students for the best academic year ever. Travia Chari. Thank you to my family and friends for all of the love and support over the last few years, and congratulations to all of the other graduates. Stephanie DeFour. Bijal Desai. Jessica Gordon. Douglas Wayne Hanto. I'd like to thank my wife, Mary, and my family for their patience and support. I'd also like to thank Tony Monaco for a place to stay while I commuted for in-person class. Izzy Hernandez. As a first-gen Puerto Rican Jewish professional student from Queens, New York, I'm beyond proud to be graduating with my Master's of Bioethics from Harvard Medical School. Thank you to all who supported me. Josh Hyman. Hey everyone, we made it. Congratulations. Thank you to all my friends and family for all your support. Good luck in the future. Thanks everyone, everyone. Adelaida Jaspers. Sheikha A.C. Kalavor. Thank you to Peter for loving me, to my parents, my brother, and all my aunties and cousins and uncles who raised me. I couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> Douglas Niddle. Anna Crotinger. Kathy Lee. Connie Liu. Gaki Masunga. I just want to say a big thank you to mom and dad and my big sister Abby and all my friends and family for all your love and support in these last couple of years. I love you all so much. Mwah. Mary McCarthy Tiella. Congratulations, class of 2021. We did it. Now, let's go celebrate together. Mira Midha. Walker Morell. To mom and dad and my grandparents and Olivia. Thank you so much for believing in me and supporting me and helping me be the best version of myself along the way. I love you all. Phoebe Azua. Hi everyone. I just wanna say a big, big thank you to my family and friends and a huge congratulations to the rest of the graduating class. Fani Paladugu. I'm so thankful, honored, and humbled to be here today. Thank you for everyone in supporting me in my journey, and congratulations to my classmates. We did it. Thank you. Sujin Park. Fiona Pat. Samara Peters.
I want to thank my family for supporting me through a crazy master's program and all of my classmates who helped me along the way. Thanks, guys. Qua to fam. Hi, my name is Kwa and I want to celebrate this moment with my friends, families, mentors, especially my parents. Paul Puzet. Eva Regal. Emily Schumacher. Allie Sterling. Sarah Catherine Sullivan. Giselle G. Fitkov. Catherine Wang. Congratulations, everybody. We did it. I sound like Elle Woods, but I'm so grateful to have been able to learn from all of you and a huge thank you to the faculty as well. Indigo Weller. David Zuckerman. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Thank you so much to the faculty at the bioethics program, to the friends I made along the way, and my family. Master of Biomedical Informatics. Karim Abdallah. Huge thanks to my friends Drew, Pal, and Lena, and to my amazing wife and family for helping me get through this program. Also got a shout out Palestine, we are praying for you. Parker Bannister. Thank you to my family, my friends, and the DBMI faculty for such a great educational experience. Nicole Benson. Iris Bronson. Noah Brown. Paula Kalachi Priet. I just want to say a quick thank you to my parents, my sisters, my husband, my grandparents, my in laws, and my friends who helped me and supported me throughout this journey. Los amo. Stone Chan. I would like to give a big thank you to my family and all the great people I met at Harvard. Thank you for being part of my journey. You are all amazing and I love you all. Don't forget to eat more broccoli. Abby Cheng. Lena Esakali Hussein. thank my whole family and more particularly my parents and Vasiji. Thank you for always believing in me. A special mention for Glazias, Kemiru and my sibling. Mitchell Flag. Peter Hong. Jin Yi Liu. Lucy Liu Chen Yue Lu Andrew Marshall Jia Zhen Rong Zachary Strasser Ed 
Kathleen Susifto. Danny Thorpe Huerta. Congratulations, class of 2021. Vivek Anud Upatiai. I want to thank my wife, Selena, and I also want to recognize my departed mother-in-law. I love you both. I couldn't have done this without you. Xiao Alice Wong. Richard Yu. Kira Zhang. Chi Sarah Zhang. I want to thank my family and friends for all your support. I couldn't do it without you. Master in Clinical Service Operations. Sarah Aluha. Thank you. It's been great. Suleiman Almazadi. Shamlan Alkunai. I'd like to thank my family and friends for always supporting me and uh, Mar and Kevin for making this a wonderful educational experience. Thank you. Salman Al Sabah. Kristen Dulling. Thank you to those who supported and believed in me on this journey. And I hope that I can use this opportunity to tell others that anything is possible. Thank you, Harvard. Radwa Imam. Brenda Ephraim. Thank you to all those in my personal and professional community who supported me on this journey. Fred Farias. Hi, I'm Fred Farias. Thank you to all my family and friends for their support during this journey. And also thank you to our program directors, Dr. Kevin Tucker and Mara Bloom. Jonathan Harding. Syed Muhammad Dildar Hussein. Daniel Francisco Isasa Pirati. Susan Jacob. Congratulations, fellow graduates, we did it. This has been such an incredible experience. Thanks to our faculty, mentors, family, and friends. Best wishes and congratulations. Lisa Kang. Thank you, Herman and team, for supporting me this journey. Ba ma wa piya ba la. In CSO, I love you. Sabi Maswade. Amar Najar. Ardi Nograhanto. Oliver Nofia. Precious Pagosin. I want to say thank you to God, to my family, MCSO classmates, and faculty. Congratulations, class of 2021. We did it. Ezra Roddy. I just want to say 
quick thanks to my professors, classmates, and to all my family and friends who helped and supported me throughout this journey. Thank you all, and finally, you did it. Brian Sullivan. Ahmed Youssef. I would like to say thank you to my mom, professors, colleagues, and all my friends for this engaging, enriching, and fruitful journey. And finally, we did it. Teresa Zhang. I want to say thank you to my family and my friend who helped me throughout this journey. Never thought I could be part of Harvard in my life, and I'm just so happy. Master of Healthcare Quality and Safety. Ahmed Nasruddin. Alhamdulillah, thanks God who helps me to achieve that. Thank you my family, my wife, my daughter, my classmates, my co-workers. Thank you to Nabina Nahas. Lilia Baku. Mohammed El Deeb. Mustafa Hafez. Congratulations, everyone. Mabrook. Nadav Levy. Ahmed Osman. Daniel Toppin. Xian Wong. Takashi Watari. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you for everything, my mentors, my colleagues, and my family. Masae, Ryotaro, Shinjiro, Nene chan. Arigato. Kenneth Whitmore. Jonathan Sabrowski. Wen Zhang. Liana Zuko. Master of Medical Sciences in Clinical Investigation. Osama Abushar. Andresa Lumi Akabani. The past two years have been amazing. Thanks so much for everyone who supported me, my mom, my dad, my sister. Thanks for everything. We made it. Reem al -Sawai. daughter Jenna for their unconditional love and support. I love you. Thank you all. Si Chen Chen. Edgar Gerardo Dorsey Trevino. I want to say thank you to my family, to my friends, to my girlfriend, and to my mentor for their support and guidance throughout this journey. Muchas gracias. Mohammadred Solomon El Sham. Arzu Kaleji. I'd like to thank my mentor, all teachers and program directors, friends and family for this graduation at Harvard. Thank you. Ali Kiapor. Hirotada Kobayashi. Thank you so much, my family, my friend, my mentor, and everyone who has supported me. Congratulations to Class 2021. Shi Jun Lee. Yan Lei. Jan 
Jiang Tao Liu. Najin Nazan M. Malin. Eli Masan. Two beautiful years at Harvard just ending. Thank you for all those who've been with me through this beautiful journey and can't wait to see you on my next chapter, Forever a Harvard Alumni. Markiko Mitsunami. I would like to thank my family, friends, community members, and my mentor for their invaluable support on this journey. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Anika Tara Singh. Big thank you to the MMSCI class of 2021, the MMSCI team, Master Student Council, my mentor, Finian McCausland, the McCausland Lab, and my family and friends. Congrats, everyone. Hugo Uzoello. This is for anyone who has been told your dreams are not big enough or that people like you don't deserve anything good. Continue to put in the work. Never give up on that dream. It does get better. Li Zhao. Master of Medical Sciences in Global Health Delivery. Afam Tesfalam Andam. I would like to thank my family, friends, and school faculty for all the wonderful support throughout my journey. Thank you very much. I love you all. Wu Baye Walelbne Dagna. Anika Heavener. Sitelire Kapira. I'm so grateful to God for the grace. Thank you for my wife, Fanny, and my son, Desi. Thank you to mom, my siblings, and their families. Robert Mancuso. Terence Bowie Mark. Inaz Mohammed. Thanks to the Department of Global Health. Thanks to my family and friends. And love you all. Anna Christina Sedas. Habib Sharif. To my friend who convinced me on board Kia Airway that Harvard is my place, to my parents and siblings who have waited two years, and to my mentors and faculty, I love you all. Bartholomew Wilson. Aisha Saman. Thank you, Amma. Thank you, Papa. Thank you, my husband, Vakas, and our entire Global Health Delivery family. Yay, we did it! Master of Medical Sciences in Immunology. Ai Chuan Chan. I would like to say a big thank you to my parents, friends, classmates, and professors for all of your unwavering support along my journey at Harvard. Congrats, everyone. Maggie Chen. Iran, Katarina Chen. Camilo Fast Pan. Jing Wen Hu. I'd like to thank my family, friends, and mentors for the support. Congratulations, class of 2021, and best of luck for your future adventures. Jacob Jeffrey Ingram.
congrats class of 2021. It's been a great two years. I can't wait to see what everyone does next. Siobhan Lala. Min Liu. Senia Morozova. Scarlett Chia. Peyton Watercore. Sabrina Weeks. Chong Yang Wu. Kimmy Ye. Long Yuan. Rongjia Zhang. I would like to thank all of my friends and families for your support and love during these years. Xi Jia. Master of Medical Sciences in Medical Education. Reem Alan Sadi. Hi everyone, this is Rima Lansari. It's an honor to be graduating today from Harvard Medical School. I want to thank my wonderful family for their amazing love and support during this journey. Ramiro Esparza. I want to thank my family for this degree. Silvia and Natalia, this wouldn't be possible without your help. Uh, Papa, Mama, Denise, Carlos, Dr. Prieto, this is for all of you. Thank you so much. Dominique Harz Fresno. Thank you to my family, friends, and HMS for all the support and help. We did it! Dr. Warit Chaya Panprak. I am honored to be part of Harvard Medical School graduate. Thank you, Harvard. Thank you, Faculty of Medicine, Konkan University, and thanks my family. Hello, I'm Rebecca Brindell, the director of the Master of Bioethics program. Along with our mighty education team of Brooke Tempesta and Amanda Chieko and the faculty leadership and staff of the Center for Bioethics, congratulations 2021 Harvard Medical School Master's graduates. We admire your resilience, marvel in your courage and welcome your leadership in changing the world. Congratulations. Dear graduates, my name is Niels Gelmborg, and on behalf of the faculty and staff of the Master of Biomedical Informatics program, it is my distinct pleasure to congratulate you on your achievements. I wish you farewell as your time as students at Harvard Medical School comes to an end, and I sincerely hope that your connections with your programs in Harvard Medical School will last a lifetime. Hi, I'm Ajay Singh, the program director of the Master of Medical Science and in Clinical Investigation. On behalf of the program leadership team, Finian McCausland, Martina McGrath, Rosalind Adam, Melissa Campos Zamora, Kitty Cassiopo, Claire O'Connor, and myself, um, and the course directors and faculty, congratulations. It's been a really hard year, especially with all the remote work, but you did it, and we are so happy. Congratulations. My name is Kevin Tucker, director of the MCSO program. On behalf of Mara Bloom, the faculty, administration, and staff of the MCSO program. I want to say a hearty congratulations to all the 2021 20, graduates of the Harvard Medical School master's programs. Based upon the work that you've done, we know that you will have meaningful impacts in your organizations and in future positions to which your career path leads. You have clearly learned a lot from the coursework that you've done, but equally importantly, you've learned from each other and the faculty have learned from you. Best wishes for the future.
Beloved students, I'm Joya Mukherjee, the Faculty Director of the Masters of Science in Global Health Delivery. On behalf of Christina Lively, Bailey Merlin, and the whole Department of Global Health and Social Medicine, we are so proud of you, your work, and your commitment to improve the lives of the vulnerable around the world. We're grateful that you and all the master's students graduating today will continue this important work as our alumni, colleagues, and friends. My name is Angela Tess, and I'm the program director for the Masters in Healthcare Quality and Safety. On behalf of Katie King and Melissa Campos Zamora and the rest of our faculty and course directors, I want to add my congratulations to our students and to all the students in all the graduate programs. We look forward to seeing how high you soar in your careers. We're very proud of you. Please remember you will always have a community here uh, to return to and share your journey. I'm Shiv Pele. I'm the director of the Masters in Immunology program. And on behalf of Mike Carroll, Selena Samiento, and all the faculty and students in the Harvard Immunology program, I'd like to congratulate each and every one of you on an amazing two years here and on your ter terrific achievements. We look, look forward to seeing what you do in the coming years and decades. And I know that you're all going to be amazing and we hope you'll stay in touch. Hello, I'm Jennifer Kesselheim. I serve as the program director for the Master of Medical Sciences and Medical Education program. And on behalf of our associate program director, Ayers Heller, and the faculty and staff of the MMSC in Medical Education, we want to congratulate the class of 2021. We are so very proud of you and we'll miss you, but we know that you'll make a great impact on, the, on your fields in the future. We wish you the very best of luck in your next steps and hope that you stay in touch. Hi, I'm Rosalind Siegel. I'm the Dean for Graduate Education at Harvard Medical School. On behalf of Johanna Gutlerner, Kim Lincoln, Naima Abdullahi, and all of Harvard Medical School, I want to congratulate all the wonderful 2021 graduates of HMS Master's Programs. You are inspiring.